All right, we got Stacy on the X, Rob Rossi, Justin Labar, Upview, and this is it is after all our Valentine's Day theme week yes. here at Upview. Yeah. So, Stacy, we have to move into the Hallmark holiday with you. I mean, you're you're so busy voice tracking and keeping these stations that I heard made media afloat. Single is handedly. Any, is there any is there any time for Valentine's Day? Is there any interest no, for you? Pff, no. You know what? What I do love is February fifteenth. I do believe it's National Singles Day, which is basically Woo! a reminder, like, hey, go buy all the chocolate for fifty percent off. <laughs> I did have a dude break up with me like three days before Valentine's Day, which is smart. I'll How, give him the Because he didn't want know. to buy you the gift? <laughs> How long were you dating, though? <laughs> it was though? time. Uh, like months, months and months before. See, I, see, I, think, I think there's this, there needs to be rules established. We were talking with Phil Bork about this. Like, I was asking him as a single myself, like, do I start dating somebody before Valentine's mm, Day? Because then you run into like the first or second date could be Valentine's Day. And I almost think like... Starting with Thanksgiving, like the night before Thanksgiving, it's a big party night, right? Yeah. Through February 14th, you should not start dating anybody, ever. Uh, that's a good rule of thumb. Yes. Unless you're looking, <laughs> ladies, then please start dating me between those periods of time. No. Um, what's Galentine's That's Rob Day? Rossi, yes, Upgrew, yes. 503 Martindale Street, third floor. Yes. Call to action. <laughs> yes, call to action. <laughs> See? She, she can work an Upgrew with mm-hmm. us. Uh <laughs> What's Galentine's Day though? Because here's the thing: I watched, oh, yeah. I watched Parks and Rec, and I still don't get it. So it's just—is it just girls go out? Galentine's Day. I can't say I've ever celebrated per se Galentine's Day. I hopefully can give you a good synopsis though. It's basically your girls who don't have a date or who are angry people, quite the curmudgeons around this time of year. I mean, it is the season; it brings up all kinds. of Are you of an angry person this time? No, of year? not at you all. Don't strike like me I'm, as angry. I'm very happy and content in any stage. Yes. <laughs> like yes. that's the truth. But uh, Galentine's Day—it's when your girls get together and they'll um you know go to dinner together yeah. it's basically celebrating love for each other <laughs> in a platonic way yeah that's that, very deep actually sounding I, you know that doesn't Galentine's sound fun at all Day. Oh, not so at all. you you <laughs> seem like a very so i start full disclosure i started hearing you a couple of years ago and i think i sent you a message on the facebook like i don't like to listen to things but for whatever reason you entertain me, uh-huh. so like I became a big fan. It's my dad but, jokes. Yes, but uh, yes, that's actually probably more. I'm wearing online. white New Balance shoes. Too yes, right they're <laughs> awesome. You, you're wearing New Balance I'm a shoes. Dad. No, I'm oh. wearing a good old Doc Martens though. Oh yeah, Doc. It's winter time, you know. She's wearing. I'm gonna kick your ass shoes. Yeah, that's what they're that not is. Steel though. Don't no worry. No lie. At West Virginia University, I for an entire sem- uh, fall semester wore Doc Martens that were bedazzled with gold. What? The 90s were weird. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, they're you not probably. Lie. Said, I hope you have said Doc Martens. They last you forever. Like a I don't have those anymore. Feet. I don't have those anymore. Those like the one fingernail that I would paint at the time were. <laughs> were Wait a minute. Yes, the one sure fingernail. I painted one fingernail on each. Uh, on each. Uh, on each. Uh, I know hand. you're a little bit older than me, but what did that symbolize? What is that? What well, here's that? what it symbolized. I went to a lot of weird places in West Virginia to cover high school sports. And I never wanted to feel like I could completely fit in. And when I was younger and getting into journalism, I always wanted to have something that made people uncomfortable. I always wanted to have something on me or have some type of look that made people uncomfortable so that they they knew I was always not part of it. Because uh. honestly, I'm pretty good at getting people to open up quickly. But it was like my way of being like, look, we're not friends at any point, I might be writing something that you may not like. So think about this, right? You put up your guard. Yeah. So, See this finger? Know. Yeah. We're not friends. So when I dressed, when I dressed like a military <laughs> dictator or something, it was always with the intent of. Uh, but um, yeah, I went through. I think a month where I've painted each fingernail uh, black. Um, but I, I wore the Doc Martens all the time because they were just comfortable. Like I bought them as a gag, right? right? Can't recommend them enough. Yes, mm-hmm. but then I'm you like, bought them as a gag. You're like buck fifty minimum. Um, these were not. Okay. These were purchased. These were purchased at a um, one of those malls in Maryland where everything's discounted. Mm. And I got these excessively cheap because the outlets. Yes. Yeah. Because they were bedazzled in gold, and you know what type of guy is buying <laughs> gold bedazzled? Um, I mean, they were like big, like shiny gold flakes on these things. So I wore them, and people look at me like, and I'm like, man, what the hell? They're comfortable. But um, I did get some looks, and then I switched to normal shoes, and I didn't get any looks, which was like, I think people were like, well, obviously you weren't going to wear those forever. But I wish I'd kept them. 
But the problem is they wore because they were like they weren't the leather. They they were leather, but then they had a because you a, got a knockoff. They had like a felt. No, they were actual Doc Martens. Mm-hmm. I do have an old pair of mm-hmm. Doc Martens that are just regular brown, like um, shoes. Businessman, yeah, you know, yeah, and they're great. They're mm-hmm. still like they're like twenty years old too. The only my thing goodness. adventurous I ever did was spike my hair and put green tips on them. <laughs> wow, not, not, you <laughs> rebel! I was um, I was bleached blonde once. Yeah, it wasn't a good look with a uh, yeah. with a Caesar look. Was that like during like when the boy bands were like the thing? No, this was during a. Uh, it was actually pretty regrettable. Yes, it was actually. Um, okay. I went to get my hair cut, and my mother had bribed the person cutting my hair uh, to just cut it all off. It was like about down to here. So I sit down, I get my hair cut. This like I get back from my freshman year of college, right? Boom! I'm like, what the heck are you doing? And they're like, oops. And I'm like, seriously, what was that all about? Because I grew my hair out long and. He, mm. you know, he told me like, well, your mom was in here and said, and I'm like, so I said, well, here's what we're going to do. What's the worst haircut you can think of? And he goes, seriously? I'm like, yeah. He goes, well, Revenge. that George Clooney cut, he was wearing the Caesar cut at, at the time. This okay. was like maybe 99 and, uh, or 97. And I said, all right, let's do that. And then dye it blonde. And I'm like, everybody was angry. But then I felt really bad because my friend's mother died two weeks later and I'm an idiot at the funeral with this like mm. bleach blonde and everyone's like well what are you trying to prove and i'm like i it was like it's karma who who <laughs> saw this coming right uh, so um, this is a bonus awful. to being on radio you don't have to worry about these things <laughs> yeah. you know you yeah i broadcast to, with the paper uh, back until we on bring my head, yeah. actually, until so upgrove brings all. cameras here you don't have to worry about <laughs> any appearance at all you know it's kind of nice so you yeah. don't get angry on valentine's day no. nah nah valentine's day is, is what that. it is you can celebrate it as you will